Goodness me, you can see this on your screen. Major breaking news regarding Kylian Mbappe. Our chief reporter, Calvé Solacourt, can tell us more. Yes, uh, PSG have given permission to Al Hilal to speak to Kylian Mbappe, which obviously means that they've accepted this 300 million euro bid. Now, it's all well and good, PSG giving the club permission to speak to Kylian Mbappe. But does Kylian Mbappe want much of his career? But Al Halal do have that official permission now from PSG to make contact with the player and his camp and speak to him about what they are offering. Now, I suppose it's up to Kylian Mbappe and his family and his representatives mm. whether they return the calls or return the emails. But the permission has been granted for Al Halal to do that now. Money can be quite persuasive. This is what think. I was thinking. You know, a lot of people are saying. He only wants to go to Real Madrid. He doesn't want to go anywhere else. Uh, Al Halal are wasting their time. All these other clubs are wasting their time. His heart is set on going to Real Madrid. Mm. But then I was thinking, these Saudis and the Sovereign Wealth Fund and PIF are the same people who've effectively just bought golf. Mm -hmm. They just bought a whole sport, pretty much. They're the same people who offered Tiger Woods $700 million dollars to sign up with the Live Golf Tour. So if they can afford to spend £700 million on Tiger Woods, who's uh, past his best, you know, approaching the end of his career, why wouldn't they throw enormous sums of money at Kylian Mbappe, who a lot of people would say is, is the best player in the world at the moment? There's some incredible numbers flying around as well. I know uh, several US outlets are, are reporting that... Um, the Saudi club Al Halal are offering Mbappe something like 700 uh, million euros just for one season and saying to him, you can just come and play for us for one season and then you can move to Real Madrid. Uh, but that is not something that, that I have seen. Uh, all I know for sure, I know there are some crazy numbers being thrown around. All I know for sure is that this offer was made uh, from Al Halal to PSG on Saturday, it was an official bid for 300 million euros. If I was a broker, you know, for this deal, which I'm not, but it would be intriguing, um, you know, you might think this suits all parties, right? Go, especially if it's a one-year deal. Mbappe goes for a year, PSG are happy, he's happy, he then goes to Real Madrid next year. I mean, can you see this happening? I mean, but wh why would Al Halal want to just sign him for one season? Why, why would they spend, you know, this extraordinary amount of money? Because uh, they can. For, for ju just one season. And, you know, if, if they got him there, surely they want, would want to keep him there uh, for longer. Uh, but, yeah, they've got the money to be able to, uh, able to do that. But I think another way of looking at this whole thing is, are PSG just creating an auction mm. for a player who, although they say is for sale, is not really for sale? Because a player who's really for sale is a player who wants to move. And he doesn't want to move. So... You know, lots of clubs can make bids and clubs can deny they're interested or leak the fact that they've made a bid or mm. lots of things can happen and we can have a media show around Kylian Mbappe. But at the end of the day, he is within his rights to block all this out, mm. to say, I don't want to speak to Al Hilal, I don't want to speak to anybody, uh, ring for his driver to come and pick him up, to driving, drive into PSG's training ground, which is what he's doing at the moment and training with the group of players who've been told they're not in PSG's plans for next season. That's the reality of what's happening on the ground. But in the background, of course, uh, PSG are delighted that they've managed to create a kind of auction for Kylian Mbappe because they want to get him out and they want to get as much money uh, for him as possible. So, do you think they'd entertain lower offers then from other clubs? Because obviously... Do you know what? Someone on social media, Tarek Pania from the New York Times, made a great point, I think, is that he said, why have Al Hilal uh, put in a 300 million euro bid? Because Real Madrid would let Kylian Mbappe go for half that. Mm. You don't need to spend £259 million on Kylian Mbappe. I think if you put in a bid of 100 million or 150 million... I think PSG would take that as well. So why is the bid so high mm. uh, is an I interesting question. Uh, but I think PSG are open to everything, Any anything, loan, 
Saudi Arabia, Premier League, Italy, Spain, Real Madrid. Now, they, they just want him out unless he performs another extraordinary U-turn and by the deadline of July the 31st, uh, he writes to them or calls up the president, Nasser al Khalifi and says, you know what, I've had a change of heart and I am going to extend my contract by another season. But there's no indication at the moment that he's going to do that. And you say that's till July the 31st? July the 31st is he's got to... Uh, Monday. Is, ..is, I think, the terms of his present contract uh, that he can extend it by another year. Because you remember last summer when he changed his mind and extended with PSG, there's those famous pictures of him holding up that PSG shirt with 2025 mm -hmm. on the back. And PSG are basically saying, we're going to hold you to that, you know. Mm. You told the yeah. world that you were staying till 2025. And he's actually saying, OK, well, that's the case. But if you look at the contract, I was only contracted to 2024 and I had the option of extending it by another year and I've decided I don't want to. So, finally, um, do you think this might just push Real Madrid into some form of action? I think that's what PSG are hoping. Mm. Uh, they're hoping that Real Madrid are going to see what's happening, all these media reports, Saudi Arabia being interested, putting all this money on the table, and Real Madrid, who've missed out on Kylian Mbappe three times already, they've tried to sign him and failed. Uh, will Real Madrid think... OK, it's too risky now just to wait till next summer and get him on a free mm. uh, because these other offers may sway him and may uh, tempt him to change his mind and go elsewhere. What we actually need to do is put our own offer on the table now and negotiate with PSG to get him. And I think PSG would be willing to negotiate with Real Madrid. Obviously, relations between the clubs are not that great at the moment. Mm. But when it comes to doing a deal for Kylian Mbappe... Uh, they'd be happy to talk. They wouldn't have any problem with that.